Hello again, you're with us here on Aspire. Now, when it comes to shopping, most men hate doing it because for one, they don't understand color. Sometimes they don't know what looks good on them. They don't know what's in style either. That's where a personal shopper comes in with a definite set of skills. So what can you do with a personal shopper? Here's a look. It is the current law of the fashion steeped universe. If you're not seen in the trendiest of clothes, you just don't have it. And if you have a personal shopper, well, you have cracked the code. Meet Anurag Anand, Vice President at a leading bank. He's authored books like Realty Bites and Quest for Nothing. Anurag wants to revamp his wardrobe in line with the latest trends, but he doesn't know where to start. Hello, I'm Shazia. Hi, Shazia. Hi, Divisha. Enter Shazia Agarwal and Divisha Maroli, personal shoppers, founders of Revive My Vibe, a personal styling company. These ladies are in the business of making people look like a million bucks. For our consultations, we charge them a flat fee, and uh, for the shopping model, we work on a percentage sort of commission basis depending on their budget. So say our average client spends about 50,000 rupees at one go. So we charge any, depending on the budget, we charge anywhere between 15 and 25% of the total budget. Anything specific in particular that you're looking at that you want to buy? I definitely need uh, some office wear which includes uh, a Friday dressing kind of a combination. Mm -hmm. And I'm surely looking at uh, something which is casual. The session kick starts with a consultation. The experts get to know Anurag, what he likes and what he doesn't, what his lifestyle is all about, all to zero in on a look that suits him best. What we have planned for you actually is that uh, we will have your office work, that is like your formals, your four days a week formals. Then we will have your Friday dressing, which will also double as your wardrobe for your you can for your work, uh, as well for your uh, book launches and stuff like that. Task number one is to get Anurag's workwear in place. The personal shopper swing into action. So I think let's start with the shopping process and um, let's give, a, give your wife a nice surprise. Sifting through suits, shirts and the latest design in shoes. Anurag, a little unsure of what to expect from the ladies, is slowly warming up to them. After some browsing, Anurag's in for a surprise. So this is like your colour. Can I hold it please? Yeah, let me show Task number two, Friday dressing for Anurag. Tips on a few must-haves in the wardrobe. Shazia and Divisha tell Anurag how to put outfits together and how to accessorize. After trying out a riot of colors and styles, the personal shoppers finally find what they are looking for. An ink blue cotton blend casual shirt and a purple v-neck pullover along with casual beige loafers. Anurag seems ready to take on the Friday at work. The initial apprehension aside, the lack of time, the guarantee of exclusivity and the promise of finding the best within a budget have made the idea of getting a personal shopper appealing to Anurag. Today, if you don't look the part, you're not just not going to cut it. You will not make the top round if you cannot look a certain way, behave a certain way. So that's what we, that's where we fill that gap, um, give them that kind of exposure, show them how it's done, so that it's an education process, sort of, so that they can go out and be confident about not only their skills and their work, but also the way they look and portray a sort of um, self confidence, yes. basically. Right.
personal shoppers, they can take the pain away from shopping and that's what uh, so many of us want, don't we? But uh, when you talk about style statements, one man who comes to mind is James Bond and the latest Bond film has been announced, it's called uh, Skyfall. If you look at Bond, the kind of cars that he drives, the clothes that he wears, the suits most iconic and of course the watches besides the lovely women we see on Bond films, all of them make him a classic brand and so many iconic brands have become big thanks to Bond films. Bond. James Bond. My name is Bond. James Bond. Bond. James Bond. My name is Bond. James Bond. As an introduction, it couldn't get simpler. And yet it's arguably one of the most memorable in cinema history. The iconic British Secret Service agent shot into the scene. In 1962, in the movie Dr. No, with Sean Connery playing the part. 22 Bond movies since, it's been 40 years since we've known Bond. And now, Skyfall it is. The latest Bond film directed by Sam Mendes. Bond's journey takes him to, to Shanghai, Istanbul and to Scotland. A lot of action. It releases October 2012, starring the redoubtable Daniel Craig in his third outing as Bond. And being lucky enough to get the chance to do a third one, it was my intention to sort of make the best Bond movie that we possibly could. Uh, and Bond with a capital B and Spanish star Javier Bardem playing the bad guy and Naomi Harris as Bond's love interest. But if you thought Bond is iconic, here are brands that have jumped to fame thanks to Bond. The Aston Martin. You saw the silver DB5 in Goldfinger back in 1964. The sweet world vanquished in Tomorrow Never Dies and Aston Martin DBS in Casino Royale. Then there's the Rolex. From the Rolex Submariner in the first film Dr. No in 1962 to the Rolex Submariner 5513 in the 1973 film Live and Let Die. And that's not the only watch brand. Omega has gone piggyback, or should we say wrist back on Bond. The Omega Seamaster Professional in Die Another Day and Seamaster Planet Ocean in Quantum of Solace in 2008. You don't have to worry about me. Find Bond. And in Quantum of Solace you saw designer Tom Ford make a splash with this pair of shades now called the 007 Sunglasses. And just before we slip into that break, here's a look at a photograph that has gone under the hammer at Christie's and fetched a whopping $4.34 million. It's called Rhine 2 of the River Rhine. Germany's most famous river and it's taken by Andreas Gursky, a man known for his color photographs of architecture and landscapes. The price that this photograph commands has beaten this one, Cindy Sherman's untitled number 96, which sold for 3.89 million US dollars in May this year. But really, would you pay that kind of money if you had it? We'd love to hear from you. All right, it's time to take a quick breather here on this episode of Aspire. But on the flip side, we're talking golf and that too with a professional golf player, Shiv Kapoor. He's taking us around one of the most historical golf courses in India, the Delhi Golf Club. Stay tuned.